Hey guys, it's your girl Zanella Sri Summer back with another video on C's Mindset. Stay soft, life is hard. As you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be doing a Q&A life update. So I think like a day or two days ago, I asked on my Instagram for you to like ask me questions on what's been going on in my life, what I've been up to. That's basically what I'm going to be doing now. I think I have about 20 to 25 questions, so I'm probably going to answer like all of them. So let's go straight into the video. Okay, the first question is, are you dating anyone? No, I am not dating anyone. I am single. So, so single. You guys, you, you don't understand. Do you regret anything you did this year? I regret quite a few things. It's like, there's a lot actually. Um, sadly, this year, um, I lost people I wish I didn't lose. I was peer pressured into doing something I wish I didn't do that caused a lot of like damage and trust issues in my life. If I could go back, I would, I would change every single decision I made because Honestly, the things I did this year, my actions, the decisions I made, it just, it, it wasn't it, it wasn't me. I feel like this year um, I lost myself a lot. The year started off great, it was amazing. And then at some point I started using friends. Um, I wasn't exactly doing well at school. It was just, there was just a lot going on. So there is quite a few things I regret this year. And if I could go back, trust me, I would. Are you ending this year with the same friends? Sadly, no. Beginning of this year, I started the school year with like this, this good group of friends. We parted our ways, we separated. I still talk to like one or two of them, but um, it just isn't the same anymore. I do though, I'm grateful that um, after my friend group parted ways, I was able to make other new friends that I did not expect myself to be friends with. So yeah, I'm glad I surrounded myself with those uh, people that I decided to make friends with. It was a good change for me personally. Um, I think I really needed the change. I don't know. Um, although I do wish I was ending the year with the people I started the year with, but hey, it's life. And honestly, we just need to move on. Are you doing anything for your birthday? I am doing something for my birthday, which is actually gonna be the first video of 2020 because I'm gonna like vlog that whole day so you guys you know you better stay tuned you better hit that notification bell so that you don't miss that video how many people did you like this year I don't know I think I think I liked like three people this year or four I'm not really sure but like who's really counting to be honest when we update another video on your channel if you mean what I'm gonna like post on my channel I'm posting this video right now which is the last video of 2022 by the way next year new content new vibes new energy I promise you guys I'm gonna stay so consistent you're gonna be like what is going on so yeah man get ready guys I will be so consistent you won't even see it coming are you planning on getting your drivers you know I wish I wish my parents my parents mindset isn't really set on that for me when I turn 16 I really wish though because most of my friends have their drivers ready and most of them can drive while I'm here I'm here in the passenger seat instead of being the driver and sometimes I would want to be the driver as well but you know what it's whatever I'll do that when I'm like 18 but for now it's not me it's my parents I was 2022 for you honestly speaking 2022 was one of my worst years ever worst worst years mostly because I lost people in my life lost my friends, I made decisions I wish I didn't make, I was slacking in school. This year just wasn't it. Um, I lost myself a lot. I felt very alone and lonely. I felt um, unwanted basically and it was a very tough time in my life. Um, but thank God to the new friends that I made because like I said, I really needed that. But 2022 overall was just not my year. I really hope 2023 is because next year is going to be our year. I promise. How was your school year? Um, sometimes my school year was like good and then it was bad. It was mostly bad, but it was good at some points. It was definitely something. The normal depressing roller coaster school year. Really nothing I can say. I can't say it was amazing, it was good, oh my gosh, I looked life, I love. No, can't say that. Why did you disappear for so long? Um, ish. Okay, okay. Let me explain. Let me like properly explain. Okay, so the reason why I disappeared for so long was because I decided that it was good for me to start another channel. Which, um, if you're you're an OG and you follow my channel and you're like really updated, you know that 
I started like a new new channel because I really wanted to like start over grow again make better content on that channel because I thought that this one was like too messy and I don't know I just didn't like it for some reason so while I was putting all my energy onto that other channel it wasn't even doing well no one was like subscribing to it I was stuck on the same subscribers for like months it just nothing like it, nothing was happening and I was like bro what the hell so I was like uh -huh, let me just <laughs> come back here yeah man I'm really sorry I left you guys hanging especially for those who didn't even know I started a new channel I sincerely apologize are you ready for the new year honestly speaking yeah yeah I think I think I am meant to be I think I can step in and be like you know what I'm gonna be okay the new grade like the new like like school year I'm kind of like it's a bit shaky but the year overall i feel like it's gonna be a good year for me we're gonna pray we're gonna manifest you know i need 2023 to be my year I, like i just need to have a good year you know not a question but you're really pretty thank you oh my god <laughs> planning on dating anyone next year um okay okay let me answer this question now it really just depends if i if i feel deep in the bones in the guts in the veins that this person is the right person for me then you know what i'm just gonna be like whatever i'm just gonna guys but like generally speaking maybe not uh it really because i feel like this year because of the people i've had crushes on it kind of was a part of why i wasn't doing well mentally so if that's the case then i will not be going through that again i will be stepping in 2023 with a right stable mindset you know just living life going out making memories without any frustration about dating and oh my gosh he hasn't texted me or oh my gosh nah, nah, nah. like i really don't need that type of stress in my life are you still friends with new people yes of course we never stopped being friends are you okay um i feel like this is a question not a lot of people get asked yeah i'm doing okay this december wasn't exactly the best like it was really boring like really boring i just wanted it to end personally but um this year it wasn't the best at all that like i've been saying since the beginning of the video but right now i'm doing okay you know we're like we're stable at least we're not unstable we're stable so so that's a good thing how many guys are you talking to but so, i'm not talking to any guy at you well actually well nah you guys like things i'm not even gonna answer that question describe this whole year in three words um depressing lonely and overwhelming i think those are the best three words i can describe this whole year would you agree that you made amazing friends this year friends that are funny caring and treat to you honestly speaking uh i think i ended the year off with those type of friends i started the year off with those type of friends but you know life happened but yeah man i think overall the friends i have now i feel like it's, it's the type of people i need to surround myself with and i'm really glad and happy and i appreciate them so much for being in my life so yeah man i think uh, friends i have right now are pretty amazing what's the plan for next year oh dog now i don't know i will definitely be staying consistent on serious mindset because you know we can't leave the serious nation hanging we can't do that um but also i'm going to get back on my grind for like the school year i'm gonna make sure i try go out more because i'm a teenager guys come on like i barely go out and that's mostly because how to experience but you know next year we're gonna try and push we're gonna try and manage we're gonna try and go out make memories live life you know do you see yourself still making content five years from now that's actually a tricky one i'm not really sure hey i really hope so i'm not really sure guys like i hope so because that would be that would be a good thing right i really do hope so because five years from now i'm going to be like 20. i'm gonna be 21 i think yeah I'm gonna be like 21. I don't know. I probably will stop at some point, but we'll see. How do you feel about turning 16? Honestly, at first I really thought it was a big deal. Well, when I was younger, I always used to think, oh my gosh, she's 16, huge party, pretty dress, presents, you know. Now that I'm turning 16 in just a few days, it's like whatever you know it's like okay it's happening not a big deal i'm gonna open a new chapter in my life yes but now that i think about it it just it isn't as exciting as it was for me when i was like 10. are you gonna stay consistent on your channel yes of course like don't worry guys i pinky promise like you see this i never break my pinky promises and if i do unsubscribe unsubscribe to this channel look i pinky promise 
okay i will be staying consistent on this channel and if i don't just unsubscribe unsubscribe I'm, I'm like being so dead ass how old were you when you started your channel if you're like an og like an og 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 i started my channel when i was in grade five um i think i was when i was 11 and I, initially it was a singing channel because i was really passionate about singing i really thought i could become the new beyonce the new ariana grande I really thought I could become the new Beyonce, the new Ariana Grande. But no, no, that that is not what it was. For my singing channel, I stopped. And then when lockdown started, that's when I started my channel again. My editing skills, my the way I was presenting myself, it was honestly trash. It was problems. But you know, I grew. Here we are now. Um, so yeah, how was life? Um, I'm just chilling at this point, you know? I really don't know how to describe it. We're just chilling, relaxing. I just want this year to end, to be honest. I just want it to go away. Okay, so I think that was the last question. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And be sure to hit your notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos. But with that being said, I am Zanilla Series Summer, everybody. And this was Series Mindset. Bye!